Welcome everybody to another video game with Right Start Mathematics. Today's game is Ring Around the Product from the Math Card Games book written by Dr. Cotter. So this is game P, P for product, multiplication, P32. I'm your host today, I'm Kathleen Cotter Lawler. So our objective of this particular game, Ring Around the Product, is to review the multiplication facts. We're gonna be using both the basic number cards and the multiplication cards for this game. Two to four people can play. The object of the game is to collect the most multiplication cards, and you'll see that as we go ahead and play it. So I'm gonna show you how to do the layout and to play the game. All right, so I have my multiplication cards, which I'm gonna put over here. And then I have my basic cards. These are just the numbers from one to 10. If you have any zeros in here, take them out. So I'm gonna put them up here. So I'm gonna start by taking six cards. I'm going to do three by two, put the remaining back up here. And now I'm going to ring it with my basic cards. So I'm just gonna put these out here and then we're gonna kind of run off the page here, but you guys can, you guys can see this. Okay, so let's see what I have. What I want to do is I'm looking for two numbers when they're multiplied together. So eight times two, oh, right here's my answer, 16. So this would be a grouping. So I wanna collect the most multiplication cards. So I'm gonna take the 16 and the eight and the two and put them over here. I want the players to be able to see 16 equals two times eight. Now, if you want to do two times eight equals 16, that's fine. It's all the same. So I'm going to put it right here. I'm kind of running out of space, but you can see mine over here. Okay. So what else do I have? Seven. Seven needs, you, and you could do this one of two ways. I can try to multiply them to find an answer. I find it easier to say what two numbers multiplied together will make seven. Well, hopefully you're saying seven and one. Well, I have a one. Oh, here's a seven. Ha, huh, look at this. So I can put these two down. Now I'm running out of space. Let me just put this other one here. So here's my seven. But you want to put them on top. If you have them staggered, oh, let me make mine go cooperate here. If you have them staggered like this, it ends up being too many numbers. It makes your eyes kind of roll back in your head. So I like to leave them like this. And again, they're visible so other players can check the work and I get reinforcement. One times seven is seven. 28, what makes 28? Seven, four, I don't have a seven because remember I just used it over here. So it doesn't really matter, but there's my four. 20 needs a two and a 10. Okay, this is gonna work. So two and 10. Two times, 10 times two is 20. 45, five times nine, no nine. Five, it's gonna be five times one. So I'm gonna lay these down. And now my turn is over with. I've taken as many as I can. I've managed to take four multiplication cards. So now it's your turn. So you're going to Fill in the cards, all right? And we're gonna finish the ring. And now it's your turn. Sorry, I got this a little bit messy. There we go. So what do you see? 18 needs nine and two or six and three. Here's a nine, oh, and a two. Now I'm just gonna flip yours over, the ones that you're taking. 28, seven and four, seven times four. I've got both of those two cards, make 28. 35 would be, exactly. So hopefully you're saying seven times five. I've got a seven, oh, and a five. Oh dear, you're gonna do a really good job. 45 needs a nine and a five. I don't have either one of those. 
nine. We could do nine and one, don't have it, or you could do three and three. So nine makes three and three, and the game continues from here. So what did you guys think of that game? Basically, it's a worksheet, and the kids love it. They will play it for hours to the point that you will cheat to lose to get out of there, which is bad parenting, but it happens. Trust me, I know. But anyhow, um, one question I didn't talk about um, when I was showing you, what happens if you can't play any of the cards? The instructions say to remove the four corners and to put in four new cards, and that's usually enough to make it work. But you find the adaptation that works with your family so that the kids can play the game and practice their multiplication facts. Most importantly, they can have fun. Let us know what we can do for you. If you ever have any questions, give us a call. You can reach us at 888-272-3291. And remember to hit the like button and to share this with your friends. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.